Hi guys. <laughs> Ta-da! So that was a lot of awful lot of animation when apparently you couldn't hear me. <laughs> I say it's not our broadcast unless we have a technical glitch, but we had two straight in a row. So I'm just going to quickly recap on um, what I was just talking about, which you saw me doing all kinds of this and which I'm guessing is good for the lols. <laughs> So um, basically, we did have some technical issues in part one where I was all kinds of like this. And we think that it was a local uh, service issue. I've also tweaked some settings. So hopefully, technical difficulties notwithstanding, <laughs> we should hopefully have a smoother broadcast. I do, however, have um, a, a recording of the first show. So what I'm going to do... Um, is I will upload the recording uh, to our YouTube channel and then that will allow me to, or allow you guys to uh, watch back a, a non-jittery version of me. <laughs> it's like me on sugar. <laughs> so welcome back um, to part two um, of the Mums Makery Autumn Fair. And um, I hope that you are all ready because in this half we're going to be playing Flingo and also we've got our raffle. I'm going to touch quickly on a couple of things. Obviously, we've got the Pixie giveaways. They are in our Facebook group. Pixie Haley has a giveaway, as does Pixie Nikki. There is also a crew giveaway. And if I am correct, then the boss bonus giveaway has also gone live during the break and for the life of me I cannot remember what it I think it's a pillow fight it is a pillow fight a pillar fight no a pillow not a pillar <laughs> that'd be carnage <laughs> So we've got a great show for you in part two. We do, of course, we are going to be working with our number two kit, but we're going to get to that in just a little bit. I thought I would just take a moment to um, touch on a few things around the set because there are a few things from like from last year, some current template sets and things like that that we've got. And I thought I would just give you guys a little visual of some of the stuff that we've got um, about the place. So as some of you may uh, remember from part one, the Needle Felting UK Autumn Festival is going to be happening on the 18th of September. And it's two days of fun frolics and felting. And we will be kicking the show off at 10 a.m. UK time. And we will be making fun guys. So I will just pop these on. Um, we'll be making these. And there's no kit or anything. We're, it's just going to be showing you how we make these or how we make one of these fun guys and how we um, create the features and stuff. And this one did have a fatality. However, it was Catherine Manners who suggested that we, we just fill, rather than try to repot him, we just fill it with... Um, brown fluff and make it look like dirt so we did that in the break thank you very much <laughs> so that's the fun guys and we're going to be making those at the needle felton uk autumn festival we'll get some links put up um for that let me pop that there it would be remiss of me not to get out this was last year's autumn sponsored make and yes i still have it <laughs> and this is this year's sponsored autumn make. And um, I suspect that I'll probably have that one next year too. <laughs> they don't go back. At least I have a shelf of stolen stuff. <laughs> so this was made by Elaine. And the scarecrow is just, for actually let me pop him on the closer camera as well. I'll have a look at him. Isn't he fab? And that's obviously all with the Mum's Makery wool. Um, this was actually the most of the colours that we launched last year. So that'll stay. Um, obviously, we've got the, the Pinecone Pixies, which were uh, last month's craft afternoon. 
and um, we've got sunflowers and you might notice that the no you can't see that one let me get this one these sunflowers are ever so slightly different than the normal big sunflower and that's because this one was made with the snowdrop template so you can get that sort of um i call it a stunted sunflower where the petals are really short and we've got a few of those around uh, sort of dotted around now um it's worth oh no, there they are it's also just worth mentioning a quick little recap the pussy willow project and uh this was the one of the kits or it was a, a part of the kit for last year's um autumn fair and it's such a sweet little make there is a full tutorial on our youtube channel um for this and it shows you how to make these lovely sprigs of pussy willow and sometimes it's not about the main feature it's about those little extras that you put into something which really you know give that attention to detail so the pussy willow project i just wanted to point that out i think i think that's more our mad sort of do about oh the pansies i'm gonna give a little bit of love to the pansy project because i just love this project and this one is called autumn blaze and the tutorial that comes with this shows you how to do all of these beautiful sort of toning and um, grades um, between the colors and it it is a lovely lovely product so if you haven't tried the uh, the pansy project do give it some consideration because it is just such a beautiful little make and you can do so many things with it as well right we do uh pixie b is indeed correct <laughs> so um i know some of you may be joining us for the first time um there is an autumn fair event kit um and we still do have some available so if you do want to grab that really great kit do feel free to hop along to our website and uh scoop one up we do still have a few left uh, it's absolutely cram packed with goodies. You have the kit one, which was the acorns, which we made in part one. You have the accessories pack, which has all of that uh, string and glue and the balloons and glue. <laughs> so much glue. <laughs> I think, what was it? We've been looking back over the car. Because, of course, when I'm on air, I don't see your chat. Um, unless I'm unsupervised, <laughs> which doesn't happen very often now, apparently. <laughs> She's like, mm -mm, no, not at all. Not after the carnage that was your last broadcast without me. <laughs> I like broadcasting without you. I do get all the cake. <laughs> so we do. <laughs> you're, going, you're going on strike as well. <laughs> so um, oh, I've completely lost my train of thought now. What was I doing? You were right about something. It, it's, it's just such a rare occurrence, mate, that, you know, it's like the planets colliding. Glue. Sorry, that's what we're talking about. I don't want to talk about glue. Talk about something else. <laughs> She's like, no. That was it. Some, we were looking at your comments because I don't get to see the comments when I'm on air. And uh, I was, we were having a proper chuckle, weren't we? Somebody said that I hate glue so much that now I'm giving it away. <laughs> in the kits <laughs> so we do have uh, some fun for you and what i want to do is just firstly i'm going to touch back on the damson project now if you got the kit that was with extras you got um a surprise kit and this was what was in not that not the wreath but um you got the damson template and the damson template makes the leaves and the damsons and you can make damsons in 2D, like what we have here. Or you can make them on 3D, like what we have here. These have been added to um, a little wicker wreath. And then, obviously, again, we've got this finished project. Uh, let me see. I'll put it on the overhead. It might be a bit easier to see. 
we've got this finished project which combined with the string and the glue and the things that will not be mentioned in your accessories kit. In the accessories kit you also get the string lights and batteries and you can make this. I mean how lovely is this like hanging on trees or you could make just all kinds of of such wonderful things and it's just absolutely I love I love autumn I just do I just love it so let me put that back there strategically because <laughs> otherwise it just would <laughs> so that's the damson kit well pixie b you're surfing on the internet again aren't you <laughs> I said, what's next? She went, hmm? <laughs> like a bee caught in headlights. <laughs> what have we got under here? Okay, I'm going to quickly run through the new projects. Now, um, the new products and projects will go live at the end of this show. If they don't all go live, um, or it says out of stock, just give it a minute uh, because sometimes there is a, a problem between the inventory and the website and the problem's usually me. <laughs> Let's go pushing buttons. <laughs> so what we've got for you, just a quick recap from part one, we've got that lovely northern red oak leaf set and it's a three leaf set. Uh, small, medium and large. Your small is 60 mil, your medium is 80 mil and your large is 100 mil. Then we've got that large fern, that lovely, I really like this fern shape. I like the old fern shape but I, I really do like this one. This is. I'm just waiting for somebody to make, somebody's going to make a Douglas fern with it. I know it, I just know it. Elaine! Now my numbers drop by one because she will have left now. <laughs> no. <laughs> we do, of course, also have the tree stump. Um, that's a, a lovely sort of, we're working on ways in which we can use templates to build more 3D structures. And the tree stump is um, a great kind of ambassador for, for that type of project because you utilize those three templates and you build yourself a 3D project. And there's lots of things that you can do with that. You know, you can, you can have it as a needle holder. Um, as I think I, I showed you earlier, there's this one here that's got one of these little um, snappy clap clips or whatever, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but, you know, you can have a little um, a little card in there. You can have a little photo in there. There's just, it's so sweet. And then this is taking it a little step further again where we've got that pixie house and we've used the Versa, two Versa tangles joined together to make um, the roof there as well. And there's just been a lot more sort of build up around the roots there. So we've also got the Blaze Fluff. Now, if you've got the kit with extras, you will have yourself uh, 25 grams of our uh, custom blend Blaze. And of course, we've got, I don't know that he's got a name. Is it Fred the Phoenix? I don't know. <laughs> but this was made with the Blaze and let me pop him on the overhead for you so you can get a little bit of a closer look. How adorable is that? And you do get that beautiful sort of color that comes from having that custom blend there. So that's the blaze and the feathers here have been made uh, using the pointy feather template. So a little, a little tip for if you've got that template set, they do um, they do work very, very well for um, all kinds of additional things to projects. And then finally, it's her favourite, <laughs> the Pixie Shimmers. Um, we did a Christmas edition. It is limited. We don't have, we're, we're not stocking these um, endlessly, but um, we do have the Pixie Shimmers. And they're designed 
basically to be used, um, you, you mix them with various wools. You've got the green, which goes for our autumn green. We've got this sort of, it's none of the shimmers are a solid color and that's what I really love about them. There is some, there's some sort of variation in them and so it's not just a block of color. And you know, we've got some darker bits here and there's some slightly lighter bits. I don't know how well the camera picks this up. Um, I don't know if you could, you can almost see it. There's a lighter bit and there's a darker bit. And that whole kind of um, sort of variation in the fibers just gives you such a beautiful effect. So you've got autumn green, you've got this sort of pink, which I think would look lovely in hot pink, possibly also in some cranberry. Then you've got autumn gold, which works with our autumn gold. This one uh, we made with burnt orange in mind and this one with our warm brown in mind. So that's your Pixie Shimmer Fibre Pack Autumn Splendor. Let's pop this back underneath here. Keep myself tidy. And those are the new products um, that we are bringing to you and they will all go live once this show has ended. Also, don't forget that anything that you make along with us from the previous show or from this show, we do have show and share uh, posts in our Facebook group. And that's facebook.com slash groups slash Mums Makery. So if you're not a member already, do come over to our Facebook group. Um, and there's a couple of entry questions like, how did you hear of us? And if you um, answer those questions, then you get in a bit quicker. So you look like you want to tell me something. You've got that face. She's got the flingo face. <laughs> Uh-oh. It sounds like I'm in trouble. I can't say, I can't say what, <laughs> I can't say the words that are in my head right now. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys, this is what happened the other day. I was on the phone to Sarah Summerton, who you will find lurking about in YouTube chat. Um, she's your, uh, your sort of helper in, in YouTube chat. Uh, you'll also find Pixie Haley is kicking about, and so is Pixie Nikki. Um, they're all over them. I don't know who's where, to be honest. They're just, they're there somewhere, I hope. <laughs> and I was on the phone to her, and it was quite late at night, and I had two parcels arrive that day that were very similarly packaged. <laughs> and I couldn't say similarly. I don't know what I was trying to say, but it just would not come out. And then we embarked down this royal mick take of me not being able to say things like decapitated. And so when I've now, at, and I said that I would not try and say it on air because I would muff it up. Because <laughs> I ended up going decapitated. <laughs> I just, I couldn't get the words out. And no, there was no gin involved, I might add. However, um, I've now been told that the, 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 the phoenix's name is Decapitated Dennis. <laughs> because she wanted to get me to say it on air, so. Summerton. I know where you live, mate. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I, me and Sarah were going to um, a Harry Potter... Um, woods that I can't remember what it's called now but it's just you get to meet like hippogriffs and um those other things that were I'm gonna take my niffler he's decapitated at the moment I had to take his head off because the wire in his neck broke but yeah <laughs> anyway moving swiftly on <laughs> Flingo and Flingo rules. Yes, let's have our game of Flingo. Now, for those of you who have the event bag, um, you will find in your event bag, you've got a Flingo card. I don't have one. Um, on your card, there are 10 um, colors of wool that we stock. And I'm going to draw from our um, fish bowl of fluff. <laughs> I don't know. This is gone. <laughs> it was all going so well. <laughs> um, it's decapitated Dennis that's done it. Now it's fish bowls of fluff, and I'm in just this is an ever decreasing downward spiral now. 
<sighs> I don't know. So we're going to play Flingo. On your card, you've got 10 colours of fluff. I will call out colours. And when you have, when I call a colour that is on your card, you cross it off. You need to cross off all 10 colours. And I know that we are broadcasting across YouTube and Facebook. So uh, Pixie B has a sort of a consolidated um, chat window. So she is the, the law, the authority, the judge and the jury um, on who calls out Flingo first. And um, so she will tell me once two people have called out, we will have two Flingo winners. And you, what you will win is the first five colours on your card. We'll send you 10 grams of each of those colours. So you get 50 grams of our lovely fluff. So this all now gets very technical. <laughs> Because normally Pete sits over there and types it in. But the computer that he normally types it in is over here. <laughs> so he's in the next room <laughs> on a computer and I've got to phone him so that he can hear when I call these colours out. Because we're about, um, I think we're about 10, what we're doing is about 10 seconds ahead of what you're seeing um, uh, on, on the internet. So, here we go. <laughs> in, in hope that this all goes swimmingly. <laughs> so, once you've crossed off all 10 colours on, um, on your card, just call out Flingo in whatever chat that you are in. Pixie B will monitor who calls out first and who calls out second. And it's going to be quite fast-paced, um, you know, so get your... Get your bingo ar or your flingo arms at the ready. Um, so we're going to motor through these quite quickly. And then they will come up on screen, but they will come up on screen again a few seconds after you hear me say it. But again, that just gives you the visual. Right. Any questions? Ask a pixie. <laughs> Eyes down, look in. <laughs> so our first color is off-white. Off white. This is assuming that Pete can actually hear me. He hasn't said anything. Our next one is sugar plum. Oh yes, he can see me. I can see them coming up on the. <laughs> the next one is fuchsia. The next one is. Violet. Sugar plums, one word, Pete. I'm just saying. I'm just. <laughs> the last time we played this game, uh, we were typing in hot pink and he just managed to get out the H and the O. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sand is your next one. Followed by royal purple. I do like royal purple. Then we've got pink. Buttercream, also one word. <laughs> Followed by mouse. And then we've got leaf green followed by lilac mental note to self make the border bigger than the text screen <laughs> at the moment we've got eaf green <laughs> ginger Warm brown. Followed by willow. Chocolate. Definitely need some of that. When I was on um, Ho Chanda the other day, um, 
right as we started, they, they asked me about the autumn fair. And I told them, I so, oh, you know, we play Flingo and stuff. And there was another lady who I think is called Hayley, not our Hayley, but a different Hayley, who was over the other side of the studio. And it obviously really tickled her because she just dissolved into a fit of giggles and she had to leave the studio because everybody could hear her laughing. <laughs> I said, we're entertaining. There we go. So our next colour is Fox. Followed by white. Storm. Oh, I've got two. We'll do that one first. Magenta. Bright blue. <laughs> Clearly my hand couldn't decide. <laughs> Flesh tone. Followed by bright green. Followed by moss. Moss is such a versatile colour. Burnt orange. Followed by bright red. We've got to be getting close to somebody now. Deep purple. Chinchilla. Everybody sounds so quiet. Candy floss. <laughs> Cornflower blue. Arctic grey. I think we're past the halfway point now. Dark brown. Oh, and Pete's favourite. Ho! Oh, hot pink. He's never going to live it down <laughs> like ever. <laughs> Black. Pastel blue. Wine. <laughs> He's put a smiley face by hot pink. <laughs> Sorry, did we do what we did one? Yes, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Autumn green. <laughs> I know. Every I can actually feel the silence in chat. <laughs> oh, we have right daffodil, flingo, martini. Yay! Right, what? It's probably, I need to sort of quickly explain tonight. You need to email or message uh, a copy of your Flingo card. Oh, uh, we've got, um, who was it? Mar Martina. Martina and Alison. Alison Lane. So we've had two Flingo calls. So please could you uh, message a pixie or uh, you can email your address to makerypixies at gmail.com. That's makerypixies, with an S, at gmail.com. Um, if you can message your um, Flingo cards, we'll get them checked off. And, um, sorry, I've got to tidy up. So we'll get you um, sent out. And you, what you will win are the first five colours on your Flingo card. Um, once we confirm um, that you've got all of the colours. So, yay! That was Flingo. <laughs> yay! <laughs> so, congratulations uh, to you guys. Um, so, what what we got to do now? What we got to do now? Lot, oh, God. Yes, 
Okay, let's talk very briefly about the second meeting. But what I want to do is very quickly give you a few dates um, for your calendar. Uh, the first one is the next craft afternoon, which is September the 25th at 3 p.m. UK time. We will be making um, a hedge hug. So um, it's mainly sort of focusing on the technique for uh, making those hedgehog spines. We also have, don't forget, that 18th of, um, of this month, September, and it's the Needle Felting UK Autumn Festival, and that will be at 10 o'clock UK time. The actual event runs over two days, but we will be kicking the event off for you guys at 10 a.m., when we'll be making those fun guys. Also, the 2nd of October, we're gonna do it, our Halloween party, um, 2nd of October, again, 3 p.m. UK time. All of those splash screens were to disguise the fact that people were running in and out of set, swapping over things. <laughs> because our raffle bowl broke. <laughs> So the Flingo Bowl has to double up as the raffle ticket bowl. <laughs> um, also, whilst I have you for a moment, I'm just going to quickly mention again Fluff Club. I did give a more in-depth explanation in sort of part one. Full information about Flingo, uh, Flingo, about Fluff Club. <laughs> there are far too many Fs. And there's Fred now as well. <laughs> so what we're going to do, um, Fluff Club uh, will be launched uh, if January the 1st, 2022. And more information about that will be coming over uh, the next few months for you guys. Um, and I just want to give one little re-mention to our autumn fair sponsored make um made by sandra mcintyre incredible incredible make such so such loveliness i mean look it's just amazing absolutely uh, and completely blown away by the make and and here it is in full splendor that sort of all and i love the fact that the hydrangea she's gone a sort of a pink way with it rather than the colors that we've put in the kit she's kind of made the hydrangea that autumn pink where it's on the turn and it just looks absolutely stunning so um sandra thank you you're still not getting it back <laughs> kit number two the reveal dun 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 I send you like elevator music then. Um, this is a template make. So it's a completely exclusive template. We don't sell this template. Um, so it's only in uh, it's only in this kit. And I've lost the template. <laughs> I'll just get the one out of here. <laughs> it's all right. Got it. <laughs> There's your template, and it's a wing-shaped template, and I've got a few samples uh, to show you here. Uh, again, this is the small pointy feather done with the, uh, the wing template on the pencil case. Here's a completely different colorway. How about that? That's one of our heart templates. And then we've got this beautiful shading um, around that. And, oh, dare I get it. She did this to me on purpose. It's got glitter on it. <laughs> you know who your friends are, don't you? So, you know, again, just a little, um, you know, a little different way of using, using the wing to make a little card and of course my personal favorite da, 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 da. look at that it's a boop <laughs> and um oh he's just i love it and um, um, it might get lost in the post but i've used or we've used a magme uh, on the back there to turn him into a little fridge magnet but again just lovely 
um, lovely ways to to use the template in so many different ways. Uh, I think that's all of the samples that I've got. Oh no! Oh no no no! I have another one. Look at this guy! Look at this guy! How cute is that? And again, the wings used. Let me pop him on the overhead, actually. That'll be a little... There. How awesome is he, a little... I want to say dragon, but he's got no arms. So I suppose that makes him a wyvern. But... Look, he's cute. How cute is that? So lots of... Lots of different ways that you can use this template. We're going to be um, colouring in on a pencil case. Now, there will be a PDF um, with all the PDFs that I've got to put on the website. Just give me a day or two. Um, they should be up sort of next week. Um, I'll get them done ASAP for you guys. Now, in, in your pencil case... No, no, that camera. Look. Look at all those lovely colours, lovely birdie colours, birdie wing colours. And if you're do when you're doing the sort of the 2D, um, there's no real weights and measures. We are going to be putting up a little PDF for you um, on making a 3D wing. And I'm not sure um, if I remember what the weights are. Um, 1.2 grams, I think we, we worked it out. But again, like always, those weights and measures, they're just a guide. There's so many, you know, if you want a chunkier bird wing, then, you know, add in a bit more. If you want it thinner, you know, you can felt it onto things. You can felt it as freestanding. It's just so, so many ways to do this. You look like you've got a question for me. No got told off now oh no that's number one and what number two I did have weights and I did have a weights and measures overlay him for for the first make as well I forgot <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a phone call from Sarah after this <laughs> let me put the glitter this is payback for the glittery thing Sarah Hang on, let me put that away. So mine. Right. Let me get set up a little bit for you guys. Okay, now of course, you can use the colours um, that are in here. Um, you can use the blaze. You could use the acorn colours that you've got in kit one. There's just so many, um, so many options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flat mat inside my pencil case. Now, obviously, what you're going to want to do is decide which side you want the pencil, you know, which orientation, where the zip is going to go, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, and also, if you are using your flat mat in the pencil case, um, then obviously... Personally, I would put your foam pad underneath it as well, just to give you that little bit, because we are going to be using, to attach, we are going to be using a, a driving technique, and you don't want to hit um, your surface. So you're going to decide sort of where you want your wing, what, um, what sort of orientation you want it. You know, are you going to have one wing? Are you going to have two wings? Uh, are you going to have three? You know, it's it's all good. And also, um, don't forget, where's it gone? You're not. You don't have to do the uh, the wing on your um, pencil case because the PDF, which I will be uploading for the damsons, will also show you how to do this. <gasps> so many PDFs. <laughs> I think we resigned to the fact that I wasn't able to film absolutely everything. So, 
we're going we're making a few more pdfs which means that when i make something that looks like a bat that should be a sheep you've got kind of more um better instructions to fall back on <laughs> so what i'm going to do is just decide what color um you want to start with and this now is really personal preference um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do uh, a mouse. This is our mouse color. And the way that we're going to do this is just pull off little pieces. Now, there, there aren't really any weights and measures as such. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go straight in with my 38 spiral. Because what we're looking for is color um i mean we've put some weights up it's probably going to be around 1.2 to 1.5 grams you may find that yours um needs a little less now these are quite uh rough pencil cases so i would recommend using an older needle um, than a newer one and I'm driving through. Make sure you get some overlap between what you've put down and what you are putting down. How's the um, Pixie B? How is the the live stream? Are we smooth? Yeah. We're smooth. <laughs> no, no, I wish. I wish it was a wind up that I had no sound. Um, that is totally me. <laughs> but no, the the trick or treat Halloween party. We've we've got a theme. Hang on. We've got a theme. <laughs> we did a Halloween party last year, and we're doing the Halloween party this year. And um, because it's like the second time we've done it, it's like a sequel. So our theme for um, the Halloween party, which I think I can share with you guys, it's Halloween 2, Pixie Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> and I know what we're making, <laughs> and it's epic. <laughs> I don't think the pixies are going to be happy. <laughs> so we're just going to carry on. We're just going to carry on putting... Little pinches, little pinches into um, these wings. And what I'm doing is I'm folding, I'm folding it back and then putting that rolled edge, that rolled edge into that rolled edge. But making sure that we get a lot of overlap. like that such a noisy felt <laughs> click 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 <laughs> and what you can you know you can see i mean look at the definition that we've got and this isn't really felted very firmly right now this is just kind of in there and you can see that you get that sort of shade and grade as you go out so i'm going to change color now and i think i'm going to i'm going to go in with a little bit of this so I'm going to pull this up into that little top point. And then I'm going to allow that frizz just to overlap. And, you know, just scratch up those fibers, let them mix together a little bit. Because I don't want a hard line. You know, I just want it to sort of blend out. So I'm going to take another little pinch of this and put it down into this point. And this is where, you know, you've got a complete sort of artistic license just to go nuts with it. You've got so many colours in your little kit here. I think we've got um, sand, dark brown, warm brown, white brown black ash brown and mouse 
So now when I get to this bit, I'm going to allow that frizz to blend out over. I'm going to sort of jump, jump about with my needle. Because if you felt in one place, then all of the fibres migrate to that place. And you just want those fibres to blend out. And then if you need to, grab just a few more of those mouse fibres and lay those down over the top. And you get this beautifully sort of diffused um, shade and grade into from one colour to the next. You could hand blend. So, you know, you take a, a pinch of each. And to hand blend, you just pull and stack. Pull and stack turn it through 90 degrees pull stack and you just really mess up those fibers and you give yourself you know another another sort of blend so i'm going to take a pinch of this blend and lay that down take that up into that top edge And, you know, I am going through, I'm, I can feel myself, you know, piercing the top layer of my flat mat. But I'm not driving right through the flat mat and out the other side. At the moment, I just want to get, um, you know, some of these fibres down. So I'm going to go back and change back to just the mouse colour. And again, just letting those fibres overlap. And I've got no particular bird in mind with, uh, or, or sort of creature in mind with this wing. Um, I'm just, oh, that's my blend. I don't want that. So I just like, I really love these neutral colours. Obviously, I'm doing this very quickly. I'm winging it. <laughs> But um bum <laughs> And there you can see that let me tear that off. Obviously it's it looks a little messy at the moment because I haven't refined it, but it's got a really good shape straight out the get go. So I'm just gonna add so when you're sort of two Ding something um, then really what you're looking for is a block of colour. So there's no, um, there's no specific uh, uh, weight. It's whatever you feel um, is appropriate to how you want it to look. I think we've used, I've probably used about 1.3 grams here, 1.2 grams, not very much there well, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop my hand inside and just lift it away from the mat you can probably see that it's coming through on the inside of the case there so now what I'm going to do is just pop my pop my template back on and I want to felt this down a little bit firmer now um, I'm using my multi-handle. I'm just going to work all over it. Now, don't forget, there will be a show and share post going up in our Facebook group um, for the wing after the show. So, if you know, please, whether you've made it 2D, 3D, whether you felted it onto a pencil case or onto some fabric or anything, whatever it is that you've done, with um with your wing template um do post up a picture um in our show and share thread so you can see you've got a really nice definition of the wing there um spend a little bit of time just go around your edges neaten everything up and then you can really start on detailing and 
me bring this one back in you can see that there's been a lot of detailing in this one and you can go to town really go to town with this so actually what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of the dark brown just a sort of a a few fibers nothing more than that I'm going to get my my 38 spiral there and you can see you just get instant definition and bring that line into uh, you probably firm and felt this up a little bit firmer and neater than I've got but obviously I'm aware of time so a little bit more and again just a few hairs roly 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 get that end and anchor it there and you can see that you've got some real nice edging if you want to sort of outline it you can you can make these a little more pointy there's just it would be impossible to cover everything that you could do um, so I'm just going to mess about and have a play so there's that did you have a question you look like you had a question shit do you know what? Y yes, it could be a hedgehog. Or um, what's one of them? Oh, what are they? No, no, and no. What's them? Oh, what's one of them things called with the with the quills? A porcupine. Yeah, it could be a it could be a porcupine. I guess. What else could it? There are, if you ever have um, a flash of inspiration where you, you see something completely random in a template, do let us know. <laughs> if I, let Sarah know, because she's always coming up with weird and wonderful things to do with the templates. <laughs> oh, and um, I do just want to say to Melissa, happy birthday for tomorrow, mate. Even though you suggested glue and glitter. I don't know. I think they've got it out for me. <laughs> right. So there's, you know, there's some sort of edging going on. What else can we do? Let's get some, you get some dots going on. This is just going to be the randomest looking turkey wing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Little dot, again, little pinch. And just drive those fibers through. When you want to do a dot, you always start off with um, slightly more fluff than you think you need because obviously you lose a bit as it goes through um, to attach. But there's another one. And another one. So what else do we have to tell people, Pixie B? Oh, yes, right. The Pixie giveaways. Um, in our Facebook group, there's still time. That they do run until, um, until tomorrow evening, I think. It is about 6 o'clock, I want to say. Um, and also, don't forget that after tomorrow evening, the spring projects... Um, which were previously mentioned, uh, the daff, the crocus, the cherry blossom, and I think there's, there's one or two more, I can't remember. Um, they will be disappearing from the website, not, um, not forever, um, just on a seasonal basis. Uh, that, um, that's all. Oh. oh, it's Louise's and Melissa's birthday today. Yep. Oh, I thought it was tomorrow. Well, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you get lots of mum's makery goodies. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see, I mean, I'm making a right hash of this, but it's fine. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, we're just gonna just use whatever colours you like, wherever you like, however you like. Get get yourself some um, some like bird pictures up on YouTube, maybe, and um, you know just have a look at wing patterns. I'm really bad at this. I've decided that I shouldn't actually felt live on air. <laughs> I show everybody everything not to do. <laughs> but it's fine. It's This is all just a bit of fun, and I will play with this after the fact. You had a nice day felting with the lady moth, didn't you? Yeah, teacher's pet. Not only did she make one in the first like broadcast with the lady moth, she sat there and made another one in the break to take home to her son. It was it was very cute. I've still got mine, but yeah, it was. Um, oh, and the lady moth also has a giveaway. Um, which you can also find details on our Facebook page, I think, or website, or it's somewhere. I have no idea where this stuff is anymore. I think it's in our Facebook group as well. Um, so it, it's to win. You enter, um, and it's going to run until the end of tomorrow, and you have the opportunity of winning uh, a place on one of the Lady Moths One Day courses, and they are phenomenal. I'm so jealous. She's bringing out some, uh, if you ha check out the craft noon, there's a couple of um, projects which we got to showcase um, for tutorials that aren't released yet, but are coming very, very soon. I think sort of in November or something like that. And um, I'm just going to pretend that we made this one. Because <laughs> I roughly, mine, mine does look like, something it's it's definitely getting to something but i will play with that later how are we doing for time as in we are one hour in yeah. we are okay good that's good good for time right so let me just let me just pack up a minute tidy up <laughs> i can't help it i have to i have to reset Otherwise, my brain doesn't work. Mind you, my brain doesn't work properly when I'm not reset. So, right, let me put that under there. Okay. What are we doing now? Pixie B. <gasps> Brilliant. Okie dokie. So, um, yes, the, the Pixie giveaways are in our Facebook group. The Lady Moth giveaway... Um, is also kicking about i think it's in our facebook group uh, and on our facebook page um they will all be drawn i think it's tomorrow night or we draw them monday morning i can't remember um but that's all that we've got we've got um show and shares don't forget your show and shares please come and share your pictures with us i absolutely love seeing what you guys do um, with the templates and the makes and the kits and, and, and everything else. So please do come and share your your sort of makes and stuff with us. Are there any questions? Um, for us and for Lady Moth giveaways, in person or online? Um, that's a really, I think it's the online one. Um, but ask her. If you win and you live five minutes down the road, just, just ask her. I think that it is um an online course um all of the pixies went on one of her courses look what they made well this is their second they've got the first ones that they made and then they they created this wreath for me for my birthday which i'm not getting down because <laughs> it's it's really precariously held up there and i'm surprised it hasn't fallen off and knocked me in the back of the head Oh, mate, for some interesting bloopers. <laughs> so, yes, so you've got the wing template. Um, I hope that 
that you guys have enjoyed the um, the event kit. It has just been so jam packed of goodies, and I absolutely loved um, creating this kit. Autumn is hands down just my favourite time. I'm still packing up. <laughs> hmm. Our next craft and yes, is the hedgehog. I did the date for that, so we're good. Twenty fifth of September, three p.m. That's going to be me and thee, isn't it, B? Yeah. <laughs> <Is> this <true? laughs> With what could, possibly go wrong? what could possibly go wrong? Glue, fluff, and B. I'm going to need something stronger than coffee. <laughs> right. Where is? I had the raffle tickets. Got it. Right now we normally. We normally do three um, raffles at the end, um, but because this is this is technically this is our last event for 2021. But it's all right because we've got loads of <laughs> we've got the party, we've got the live launch November the first. But we do three events a year. We do the spring fair, we do the Christmas in June, and then we have our autumn fair. Um, the rest of the year we have parties <laughs> so the Halloween party don't forget that that goodie bag for the Halloween party uh, will be going live um, after the show as will all of the products and if they're not live or they say out of stock please just bear with me whilst I push the right buttons <laughs> so as this is our last uh, event of the year we're going to do four raffle tickets so the first raffle ticket is going to be for one of these lovely coasters. Let me put it there a minute. Needle felting for the days when you just need to stab something repeatedly. I've got one of these. <laughs> so this the this raffle ticket is going to be for this coaster and the raffle ticket stand you don't have to be watching live uh we will post the i think pixie nikki is in charge of all things prize related so she will um post the raffle ticket numbers up in and if you are a raffle ticket winner could you please email to makerypixies at gmail.com that's makerypixies with an s at gmail.com and um with your ra a copy of your raffle ticket picture of your raffle ticket please and uh your obviously your name and your address so the winner is 175 and you win this lovely coaster. Got that? Yep. Okay. So our next prize, oh, she says crash, is going to be for one of these great multi-handle um, handles, <laughs> multi-needle handles. That's the word. <laughs> one eight seven. So the next raffle ticket is going to be for the template set of your choice. So you can have any template set you want. Providing this one I've got in stock. <laughs> Big, oh, I've got two. There we go. And this is number 76, 76. That's a template set of your choice. And then the grand prize, the big tamale. <laughs> a 20 pound voucher for the website. Oh goodness, I had three in me and I dropped all three. The 20 pound gift voucher goes to number 25. So if you are one of our lucky winners, that's number 175, number 187, number 76, and number 2525, 76, 187, and 175. Those are the raffle tickets. Congratulations, whoever you may be. Please send an email to makerypixies at gmail.com with a picture of your raffle ticket 
and obviously your name and address because otherwise I can't send it yeah congratulations also to our uh, two Flingo winners that was uh, Martinez and Alison Lane yes there we go <laughs> They have been com brilliant. Congratulations, guys. Two Flingo confirmed winners. Uh, you will get the first five colors on your Flingo card. And again, please email to makerypixies at gmail.com. So um, I think that that is about it from me. A couple of things that I do just want to quickly point out to you guys is don't forget that we've got a wonderful poppy project. And obviously, uh, Remembrance Sunday, we've got the, char the one that looks like the charity poppy and also we've got the poppy the field poppy project which i think is just off camera over there um so do don't forget those uh, lovely poppy projects um if you are thinking of doing something for uh is the 2nd of november no 11th of november 11th of november I've got, the, I've got the 2nd of October and the 2nd of November confused it. We're having the party on the 2nd of October, 11th of November, Remembrance Day. So don't forget we do have those poppy projects uh, on our website for you as well. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much for choosing to spend uh, your time with us this afternoon. It has been an absolute pleasure uh, to be here and all the shenanigans and technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got there and what I will do is I will upload um, part one of the broadcast um, to our YouTube channel as well so that we have the uninterrupted or unstuttery version um, for people to watch on playback later. So that's it uh, from me for uh, our 2021 autumn fair i do hope that you have enjoyed your time with us thank you once again and from me pixie b and all the makery pixies and crew we wish you all a very crafty day <laughs>